In this illustration, we'll discuss about two men jumping off a flat car. Here, uh, the figure shows two men, each of mass m, standing at the edge of a flat car of mass m, and we are required to find the velocity of flat car after the two men jumps off the car one by one in first case and both together in second case at a velocity u with respect to the flat car. So let's discuss the two cases one by one. So case one will be taking first when the men will jump one after another or one by one. Here we can see if on ground this is the flat car and here we can say one man jumps off and one remain on the car with a speed u then the car will attain a velocity v1 and the man would be having a speed u minus v1 and here we can write by conservation of momentum we can write initial momentum was zero so after jumping off the man the total momentum must be zero or the leftward momentum would be equal to the rightward momentum so here we can write m plus capital m v1 is the momentum in the car plus one boy and this should be equals to m multiplied by u minus v1 which gives us the velocity v1 attained by the flat car which is equals to m u by 2 m plus capital M. This is the velocity attained by car. And now if another man also jumps off, you can see the car was initially moving with the velocity v1. And now if second man also jumps off, then the car velocity increases to v2 due to the impulse imparted by this man and its velocity will be u minus v2 as u is with respect to the car. And before jumping of the man, the initial momentum is m plus mv1. So again we can write by conservation of momentum, the initial momentum of car before the second boy jumps was m plus small m v1 toward left and final momentum must be equal to this so this is capital m v2 minus because the boy is moving toward right it is small m into u minus v2 so from here we can substitute the value of v1 which we already obtained so this can be written as m plus small m multiplied by v1 we can substitute as m u upon 2 small m plus capital M is equals to m plus small m multiplied by v2 minus mu. On simplifying this relation, we can directly calculate the value of v2. You can simplify and verify. Here, uh, the final value we'll be getting is mu multiplied by 2 capital M plus 3 small m divided by 2 small m plus capital M multiplied by small m plus capital M. This is the result which we'll be getting for V2 and that will be the final result of this problem for case 1. Now we can further continue our case 2 here. If we talk about case 2 when both men jumps together, so we can write the case both together. Earlier we have discussed when man jumps one by one. So if these two men jumps together, you can see initially the car was at rest, and when the two men jump together, then car attains a velocity v three. And these two men will be having a velocity u minus v3 as u is with respect to the car. So again we can write by conservation of momentum. Initial momentum of system was zero. So car has attained a momentum mv3 and this should be equals to the momentum of boys which is 2m multiplied by u minus v3. On solving this we get the value of v3 
is equals to 2mu divided by m plus 2m. That is the result of this problem when the two boys jump together, car will attain this velocity.